What's up, y'all? This is a quick video right here. A quick video. All my videos are quick. You know, I try to keep them quick. You know, highly informed, highly informed, and highly, uh, you know, progressive. We get, we get through these videos fast. I'll get straight to the point. No BS here. Anyhow, so we're at a property in beautiful, beautiful Squat Valley, California. Squat Valley, California. Uh, it's out here and for all you people that are not familiar with the area. This is kind of, you know, the entrance of the Sierra Nevada. We're in the Central California. We got Yosemite just north of us. We got Sequoia National Forest south of us. And then we got the Nevada, you know, and we got the Kings Canyon National Park just east of us right here. So this is a beautiful area, beautiful area. Um, we got these homeowners here that, you know, they just got this house built. You know, there's a really nice monastery up there, right up in the hills. Um, beautiful place. Anyhow, I got a call coming in, but I'm not going to take it just because I'm uh, I'm freaking I'm making this video. Anyways, um, I'm getting to the point here. Um, so this video is about irrigation. Um, these guys, unexperienced uh, people that put in systems, you, you hire people that are not experienced. So this is a perfect example, perfect example of why you should not hire uh, unlicensed guys or at least guys that you feel like they might not have the knowledge or you have doubt in people. Um, this is one of the reasons why. So, for example, here, you can't see, but down there, I got my guys down there jamming it. We're putting an irrigation system for all the fruit trees along the fence. There's a vine going, going to grow along the fence. Same thing on this side, the vine's gonna grow along the fence. Got fruit trees right in front of that. And the same thing for the other side. So some wise guy who put in the system thought it would be, uh, you know, work, thought this would work to put in one three quarter inch line to water all of that, all of that. We got over 70, we got 72 fruit trees and 120 uh, vine of some type of vine. I forgot what it was. So this guy, you know, whoever, you know, they hired obviously didn't know what he was doing because why would you water so much trees with such a small line? I mean, you could probably get away with that on a two inch line, maybe, but yeah, there's no way a three quarter inch line is going to work depending on your PSI. So I'm here at the well, this is where the well is at. So they got, I checked the well, they got 50 PSI, you know? So, you know, you calibrate that to determine your system setup, you know, but guys that don't know probably won't even, even bother to look at the PSI or even bother to come into this place. So what happened here these guys went straight into the main from the house right they grabbed the water from down there somewhere big no no big no no their water their irrigation water should have came from this house and the people who put the system in um i'm not sure who did this well but they did a fantastic job fantastic job the guys who put the well in dug the well whoever that is they did an awesome job they did a great job everything's really nice and simplified one problem the irrigation guy their prior guy forgot to run his irrigation from the dedicated irrigation shut off it's a blue valve it's blue for a reason water that's your irrigation you're separating the water's coming in from the pump into the tank back you know back out to the uh it looks like it's going four ways to the tank they got a water hole line here coming out to the house breaks off to the irrigation before it gets to the house is it shut off for the house shut off for the irrigation i have to shut off the whole house now just to work on the irrigation big no no big no no so um yeah they totally screw up dropped the ball majorly right here now every time we run now every time we mess with the irrigation system Tied into the house. They should have tied it into its own dedicated shutoff, which is standard, which is code um, here in California. You know, you're always supposed to separate your your irrigation systems. You know, I mean, you separate irrigation from the house always for situations like this. You get a broken head, you're watering the street, you just kill your irrigation until somebody fixes it. You know, same thing, you get a busted pipe in the dead of the winter, freeze turn off their shut off until it gets fixed if it's a valve a sprinkler valve you get a valve replacement you shut off your irrigation before you fix it 
you know it's just simple stuff like that and, and this video turned out to be a little bit longer than i expected but it's okay i'm giving you guys some 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 very very valuable information um you know in the field in the irrigation field so yeah i mean we're we're we're, we're, we're uh we're getting ready to put a whole new system in so right down there you see that line sticking out of the ground right over there white pvc pipe right that's that's what we're gonna tie into you know initially that's the plan tie into the you know that must be an irrigation like generally you know anybody who does work like this would you know think hey they stubbed it out for irrigation great you no know, let's tie in here and run our system nope pause so i come over here to shut off the supposedly shut off the irrigation to work on the system but now i gotta call the owners and let them know that they're gonna have they're not gonna have any water because whoever they hired prior to put in the existing irrigation which is not too long ago was a guy that's locally and you can see locally there's not a whole lot going on here so there's a local guy here that does a lot of the work and uh he must not be experienced and i can almost guarantee you by the look of his work he's very inexperienced he did some concrete work for them too he did a pretty bad job overall it looks great but he missed a lot of, of key points he missed a lot of stuff that he shouldn't have missed so anyhow um let me uh let me go down there and talk to my guys i think they're going too deep on that trench run down there but i gotta check them out they're going at it i gotta go talk to these clients and just give them the bad news and let them know if they want this thing done right if they want the system to work and you know we're gonna have to you know this little you know a few thousand bucks just turned in maybe double because now we got to come over here and run a new whole new line stick it out of the house bury it and shoot it out for any irrigation future irrigation so we're pretty much gonna every all the money that they spend on whoever did this setup for them it's gonna be out the window it's all gotta be redone it's all gotta be redone just because the fact that you know um it was done wrong it was done wrong they hired somebody who didn't know what they were doing they hired more than likely unlicensed there's no way this guy's licensed whoever did this job I guarantee you that. Um, even me, prior to not being licensed, I mean, this is stuff that, this is basic stuff. You should know this stuff. You know, if you don't know this, you have no business putting in sprinkler systems. If you don't understand how things work, you know, how a system works and how you go about putting in a new system, how to find your electrical, how to find your water source, your drainage. Drainage is very crucial to to any landscape, you know. That's some other stuff I'm gonna get into later on. The drainage video, I'll show you guys about drainage. So check this out. They got a little valve box I just see right there. I didn't know what this was. So, shoot, this thing's freaking buried. What the hell's under there? Oh, bingo. Here we go. So this guy. So I see what he did here. Okay, we we found something here. So we got uh. So we got uh. It looks like we're coming up. It looks like what he did here. He teed off from, he teed off from the house, so this must be his irrigation shut off. So, regardless, this was done wrong. He should have never, ever, ever, ever uh, teed off from here. He should have teed off from the well. Well, the tee was already there. Just you know, freaking tap into the well and push out, push out your irrigation from there. But now he's got a small line. You see, that's only a one-inch line. We could have went one and a half straight from the well and have marvelous pressure. Now we got. To deal with this if if we move forward with this so i gotta present this to the customer and see how he wants to he how he wants to go about it i gotta give him his options can we use what's here yeah we could uh should we use it probably not i wouldn't use it i would just say freak it you know get a whole new line you know give it some beautiful pressure no joints on the concrete surprise this hasn't cracked yet broom finish is okay it's a little rough on the rough end but you know, finish is not too bad, but he missed no joints. Look at no joints. So anyhow, tell the tell here. I'll get back to you. There's my run over there. He's a very concerned customer. He has a lot of questions, which is good. But I'm gonna show him and I'm gonna tell him exactly how these jobs should be done. Okay? So I'll get back to you guys with an update.